It's Antibellum. Wait, what the hell? Nizards are pink? Since when? Were they updated or it's just my graphics mod? Anyways, today I will be playing my home nation. I've decided that this might be an interesting run. Because Lithuania starts with just 39 development in Antibellum, much smaller than in the base game. We will have three vassals and a religion unique to Antibellum, Romova. I mean, let's go ahead and check this out. Let's go. First of all, I want to check out this religion. So apparently we have deity system and there are some really good ones. But the one that might benefit us the most, in my opinion, might be this one. Core creation cost and stab cost modifier. Let's go for this one. From this religion, we're also getting production efficiency and minus 10% regiment costs, which is not too bad. Now, on to the estates. It feels really weird that this is in my native language. We have Dvasininke, Bajoria and Miestelene. So let's select plus one mana points for all of these estates. Let's go with strong duchies and I will also go for officer rights. And for Mr. Lenny, let's go with indebted to the merchant guild loans. I am just used to say this, man. I'm just too used to say that. Yes, yeah, so I'll try to keep this at the minimum. I'm gonna seize lands and once we get more crown lands, then I will grant more privileges. So let's check out what we have here. First of all, we're gonna take our general and apparently we have an achievement and a formable nation as well as the option to reform the baltic faith for the achievement we need to own entire baltic and scandinavian regions all right so let's set this as our goal not necessarily for this video but we might do a couple or even three parts for this depending if you guys like these videos or not and forming Baltia, yes, we can do this one as well. We just need level 10 admin technology and some specific core provinces like Danzig, Riga and so on. What about the claims? So at the beginning, we do not have any claims. And our mission tree looks like this. We have developed the countryside. We need to grow 50 dev, increase our income basically by double. This would grant us 12 yearly tax income, which is basically one flat decade monthly. Construction cost and prosperity progress in Lithuania. Not too bad. Then we have centralized the duchy. We need to integrate our vassals, own Konas, Raseni and Suvalke. If we complete this mission while we have annex subjects modifier, it will be removed. Well, I don't care about this too much. Infiltrate Livonia. 35 spy network in Livonia or them not existing. All right, we can do this one. And down the line, we have a bunch of locked missions. I wonder what this is about. So we basically need to unite the Baltics, have free stability, and then we have access to pagan Lithuania, Orthodox Lithuania, or Catholic Lithuania branches. Okay, I am interested in that. So sure, let's start by getting Spy Network on Livonia. I figured I still haven't summoned the diet and we could potentially get claims through this. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, look at that. We are getting a claim on Scalva, which is Protinius lands. This is actually really good. Let's go. Might be our first war. Just might be. Our force limit is 14, so we're gonna recruit the free company to help us out in the wars. By the way, the general that we got is actually pretty damn good. Free siege pips. Now, what about the advisors? We have discipline, cav compatibility. I will be going for discipline. Aggressive expansion impact advisor is absolutely lovely, but he's level two, so let's go for improved relations. And I actually really like this yearly corruption reduction, so I will go for that. So can we convert this? We should be able to convert this province if we get at least the edict in there. How much is this gonna take? 62 months. Yeah, this is doable. Let's go for that. It's the 11th of December now. Can we start this war? Yes, they have no alliances. This is beautiful. So we're gonna select Protinia as a rival. And the remaining two rivals, oh, Turov is allied with Smolensk and Lendians. Polotsk is Galicia, Volhynia. And Mazovia, Silesia. So in my opinion, Polotsk would be a good one. I guess we can go for Turov because the other nations are just a bit too far from us right now. Let's do it. Let's crush Protinia. Level 3 fort. And this one is level 2. And how many soldiers? He has 9,000. Okay, so we kind of need to stick together. I will try and ask my vassals to attach to this army. Yeah, we're good. We can just chill and work on annexing him. I wonder what we actually need to do to get our first claims from the missions. Defeat Protinia. And this is gonna give us claims on Pomerelia and Protinia areas. And if we own all of this, we're getting core creation cost, permaclaim on Danzig. Yeah, I don't see any claims on Turov, so I will build Spy Network. But if you guys have played Lithuania in Antibellum, and if I miss something, do let me know in the comments, because I might miss a lot of stuff just because there is so much to focus on. 
So I'm gonna just kinda go with the flow mostly. Nice, nice, nice. We can boost our stability. That is great. And after we do so, we actually have new decisions. We can convert to Christianity. No, thank you. I'm gonna stay with this unique religion. I'm gonna introduce vision quest and religious sacrifices. Not a very good air, unfortunate. Right, we got the fort, so we can go ahead and crush this guy. Wait, what? Oh, so this was enough. I actually didn't check this. We just need to have war score. Nice, let's go. Morale of armies. Beautiful. Oh, now he's gonna get the belt, man. Oh, he's gonna get crushed. Look at that, just removed. Discipline trait as well on our general. Not too bad. We're free to, to just take all of the provinces. Grab this claim, and after grabbing the claim, I kind of want to improve relations with the vassals. We can also get royal marriages, and apparently 11 ducats. What a lovely gift. What is this, man? Shut up, bro. Increased influence. Man, this is already so high, and I still will need to take integration policy. Uh, let's just increase the autonomy this time. Like, this is actually insane that our, for our first war, we're full annexing Pratinia and basically doubling in our size. 99 ducats as well like this is just great man unfortunately no development to concentrate so it's gonna be a bit expensive but we can start courting this wait no 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 i did it in a wrong sequence we're gonna cancel this we're gonna complete this and get core creation cost we're not getting the secondary objective because danzig has a larger navy we don't have one don't really care about this one it's still good let's go now now it's cheaper and our crownlands have increased to 14 percent Oh, come on, bro. They discovered my agent. Oh, this sucks. It would actually have been really good to get the claims on Livonia. We'll have to wait for that a bit longer. Now, what do we do? Polotsk, man, might not be too good of a war. And Turov is also, like, just stacked with alliances. Danzig, just pretty much impossible. Like, look at that, man. Sweden, Hansa, Riga, Lubeck. All of these guys found a lot of alliances. Well, Pomerania doesn't have that many. Might as well try and get this claim. Wait, 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 I think we can complete the Livonian mission without getting 35 spy network because apparently our vassals either completed their missions or just made claims separately. Wait, I kind of want to check out if these guys built a force summit. Oh, okay, so that's cool. They are all actually getting perma claims on neighboring provinces just by having manpower or army. Hey, that's awesome. Screw it, bro, let's not wait for anything then. Let's go for this war. Finland. We should be able to deal with this pretty easy. Yeah, he's done for. Look at this guy, man. Just suffering. The thing with Finland is it's impossible for us to reach them because we don't have access to Novgorod, which is our rival. So we might need to wait quite a while. After I finish this fort, I think I'll just go into a separate war. Always keep forgetting to improve relations, man. I need to remember this. We are certainly good to go for this Pomeranian conquest. Obotritis. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna co belligerent them. They're allied with Ditch March and don't really care about them. Let's go like that. Look at this bastard. He actually transported units. I can't believe this guy. Wonder how many units we can leave here. Um, I guess I'm gonna just leave like three soldiers additionally. And with 7,000, we should be able to just destroy him. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, bro? Might need more. And by more, I mean I will just go ahead and recruit additional soldiers like this. Yeah, so you guys are just completely overstaying your welcome. Like, what the hell do you think you're doing here? This is absolutely unacceptable what you're doing. That's what I thought. Now leave and never come back. They are back, aren't they? But we are level 4 now, so we're just gonna... I'm not gonna even say anything. You're just gonna see how they're deleted. You're not an exception, my boy. 8.6 thousand. Let's see how we fare against them. Yeah, just crushed. Nice, we no longer need to fight Finland. We can just go ahead and finish the war with Livonia. That is lovely. Infiltrate Livonia is completed, giving us aggressive expansion, impact reduction, and permaclaims, so it will be cheaper to core these provinces. Not only permaclaims, but of course we still have that 10% core creation cost reduction and 5% from our religions. It's just really cheap, let's go. And this is yet another wipe, so now you can unattach, and please all of you go siege these provinces for me. Right, I don't want to extend these loans, these are super small, let's just take a couple of new ones and let's repay them, repay them all. I'm gonna take new Mestelena loans and we're getting a lot of money, a lot, a lot of money which we can use to repay the older 4% ones. Renaissance is now available. Wait, let's also enable divert trade on our vassals. Nice, here we go, white piece. 
and the war is done. There is still no collision. We're still good. Let's go. We're up to 21% crown lands and we can seize lands. Now this is going to make all of our estates disloyal and it's going to cause some rebels. But I still think it's going to be worthwhile to do so at least this time. Let's see what we can do here. Hey, I was going to attack them anyways. We can go for this. Yeah, so let's seize this time. Hey, we didn't get any rebels. How does that work? But from now, what I'm going to do is grant more privileges as we have decent crown lands and now I want to have 50% or more equilibrium for all of the estates. I usually would go for supremacy over the crown, but in this case, the influence is just so high for a Bayuria, so I'm just going to go with separate 10% increases. For example, this oversight one. By the way, these are all the provinces with Romo religion, so we have pretty much all of it. I think we actually have all of it. Yeah. All of the provinces which means we can definitely go for expansion zealotry now let's take religious diplomats might as well take advisor cost reduction for all of the estates promote me Stelene bookkeeping apparently we have deforestation which would grant us minus 15 percent local development cost in all of woods and forest provinces but to able to take this we first need to complete clear the forested areas mission so we can check that out later yeah so this is 40 percent i'm gonna grant one more let's just go with free enterprise for now we're good and of course now it is time to reduce autonomy because it has been annoying me we can get more manpower more money more land force limit from this now our force limit is 19 soldiers. By the way, I no longer want to have this 14 maybe because our devastation has gone to zero. I was thinking between these two forts, but this one is still, you know, decreasing. That's right. Time for Estonia. We have a bunch of claims and we will have to fight Sapni. Now this nation is 6,000 units. We don't have to worry about this, yeah. We are losing our air, which is good. That's just great. Of course, let's go for 75%. Nice. Just, just got the even worse one. I can't believe this, bro. What air? I don't know. What air? The game is absolutely taking a piss right now. Like, come on, bro. But can we complain? We got rid of Sapmi. War is pretty much secured. Oh, we caught you, boy. Oh, we got you now. Finally. Nice. Oh, 15 army tradition. That's it. Here we go. Full annexation and 70 ducats. 50 admin points from our agenda, just great. We have grown by at least 50 development and increased our income now. So we have prosperity, progress in state of Lithuania, construction cost and yearly tax income. Now next we need to develop marsh provinces and clear the forested areas. So we need 75 development in Lithuania or, or Litwin culture provinces. So we either need to dev it up ourselves or just culture convert the provinces. Um, at this point we cannot do so because the provinces still have separatism in them. I think I will start developing the marsh provinces, especially the ones that are our culture already, like Konas. So yeah, let's grab the edict, let's dev it up a little bit. Due development is enough here. This one will need a bit more attention. And you know, we still have a couple of years before we can start integrating our vassals, so we might continue our conquests. Now I'm thinking about the rivals Valetti, maybe? We need more units, that's for sure. So what are the choices? Like, these companies are not that great, to be honest. Only five units, but I guess it's better than the free company. Yeah, let's recruit this one. I think super, super easy expansion for us is going to be Poland's. So we're going to declare a war on them and Bavaria. Bavaria is just a small H3 nation, like... They don't have much. 9 units, level 3. Yeah, take care of this right quick. Like, he's dead. He's gone, mate. That's a ton of rebels, but fortunately our vassals are just that loyal that they help us in any situation. I think from now I'm gonna start focusing admin points because we're falling behind because of our quite quick expansion, I would say. And the game is treating us well, we're getting 25% local defensiveness in Tallinn. So even though it's grasslands, it's gonna be a really good fort, which means we can probably just delete this one. The devastation is low, get the hell out, bro. Now this, this is the generals that I'm talking about. Just swap those movement points to shock and we're just cooking. Wait, what the hell happened here? What is this? Mazovia, no alliances? Huh? He's just asking to get attacked, like, I didn't even want to do that, but I just have to. Thank you very much, Bavaria. Was lovely seeing you here. I'm gonna visit you again in the future, but for now I have some other businesses. Let's just go ahead and annex Poland's. 
Really good expansion and no collision. Just how I like it. Thank you very much. Hey, we can concentrate. That's nice. So apparently Durov is not doing that well. Well, he's at war with like half of the world. Um, What is going on here? Yeah, so this is not a good war anyway, but he's allied with Puskov and he would actually not join. So I'm getting a claim currently. Might be the next war. I wonder when I will catch a time frame where I can annex my vassals because this is unbelievable. Like, I cannot miss out on these opportunities. I just have to keep going, bro. If these guys don't want peace, well, what can we do? Just have to answer their calls. It's like they're holding signs. Attack me, bro. I'm really, really surprised how there's no coalition, but I guess this is just the matter that there's just different religions around us. No one cares about these Slavic nations because there's just a couple of them left basically in the world. Yep, so quarrying is a different type of topic. It's gonna be expensive. This is the minus of our conquest. We are still level 3 admin. I swear, just a couple more wars and we will start chilling and focusing on admin points. I swear. We are one of the great powers now, so it's been what, like 12 years since the start of the game? And we went from 39 development to 288. That's what I'm talking about. We have access to tier 2 government reform. I'm gonna go for the tax modifier mainly because the decrease in Bioria influence. So in this case we only have 78%. I'm just gonna go ahead and grant the integration policy right now so I don't forget it. Nah, that's it bro, that's it, that's it, that's it. We're gonna finish this war, we're gonna chill. We're gonna chill. Because there now is a slight coalition. So let's just core up these last provinces. I'm gonna get rid of this mercenary group. They're out of manpower. We probably can grab something like free company. We don't have army professionalism. So we're free to recruit this. Now I kind of want to have these additional ducats. We can afford to sell titles. We will still have above 20% crown lands. But this is also really good. Before we seize lands, we can do this. We need 75% of navy size. I am getting some ships now. So maybe this will be enough or like we need a couple more. I just want to see if we can go above 60% loyalty. So we can develop our country a little bit with the dev cost modifier. And I would also love to get a development cost advisor. We can try and re-roll this guy. There's so many different options for our third rival actually. Like Lotharingia, Golden Horde. None of these make sense. Let's go for Sweden. And yes, let's finally start integrating these bad boys. What have you completed? Oh yeah, we built a merchant fleet. So we're getting trade efficiency, ship trade propagation. That's nice. Nah, I've been trying for so long. It's just pretty much impossible to get this advisor. I'll just get this yearly prestige one. Screw it. Yeah, here we go. We have 60% loyalty, 7.5% dev cost reduction. So we don't have enough March provinces right now. We cannot develop anything of that sort. We might as well develop some of our Lithuanian provinces. Like, can we convert them? Nah, we still cannot convert any. So yeah, I'm gonna invest a bit of mill points and a bit of diplo points. Now let's just seize lands. Bro, we are losing so much money because of fort maintenance. This is insane. We need to delete something like... Delete this one. Delete this one. This is way too much. This grasslands one can just go. Holy crap, bro. Here we go. We can upgrade our rank to kingdom. That's right. Oh, that's so funny. Vologda is actually senior partner of Galicia Volhynia. This nation is like twice the size of Vologda. They will probably start a war or something, so we could strike. They would be without any alliances. That would be just lovely. I wonder what's going on with the rest of the world. Bulgaria is at war with Magyars, losing pretty badly. So Byzantium might actually have a good game here because Bulgaria is kind of getting bullied. And it is one of the strongest nations in Antibellum. Like right now they're not in the top 8, but yeah, usually Bulgaria does really well. Nizaris are cracked, 41k. And the Lucia, as always, is strong as hell. And Francia is doing amazing. But what were these provinces? Catalonia. I thought they actually fought Andalusia. That would have been nuts. Okay, so I don't see this often. Apparently, Kazan somehow broke through from Golden Horde. Usually, they win these wars versus the rebellious factions. All of them were released. Crimea as well. And they're allied with Teodoro. No, Teodoro, what are you doing, bro? You're not supposed to play like this. This is the noob way. I don't like that there's like a pretty big coalition versus us. There is a risk. 
So I figured I'm gonna get some alliances and Norway seems like a pretty decent option. Their main rival is Sweden, they're also rival with Novgorod. Their interests are kinda just like ours. Let's go ahead and get this partnership with them. Norse, yeah, so interesting thing about these nations that Norway and Denmark well, Denmark in this case is Catholic. I did a game previously where they were Norse. I guess they have this option to choose what they want to go with. Scandinavian nations basically have this option to have Norse religion. And it allows raiding coasts, so yeah, it's pretty strong. Hey, that's it. We have integrated all of our starting vessels. Lovely name placement at this point. And we can complete the mission Centralize the Duchy. Monthly autonomy change, really good. And Diplo points awesome we secured livonia so we're getting a general one base manpower in livonia area Verma claims that we at this point don't really need now we should focus on conquering riga and uniting the baltics so we do this both missions at once just need to fight riga but they are allied with hansa and in this annoying ass trade league so yeah if we want to fight this crap we pretty much need norway's favors and maybe get a different alliance that could help us with that. Bohemia is a good option, I think. We could probably get Denmark if we improve their opinion of us. But for now, let's grab Bohemia. I think this will serve us well. Nice. In some provinces, separatism is no longer there. So we can convert them into our culture. But what I like to do before converting them is exploiting their development. So I'm gonna get some money. And since it's less development, we can convert it a bit cheaper and faster. Bro, this is golden stuff. We need a claim. We need a claim on this. Oh yeah, we can convert more provinces. Nice, I didn't even notice. Probably should have this autonomous guy constantly. However, I still like visiting the religious screen because I can just enforce religious unity on the specific provinces that we need to convert. Come on, bro. Novgorod. No. You cannot do this. Oh, that's so bullcrap. I guess eventually we will need to fight Novgorod and just release Finland then. But this guy sucks, bro. Wait, wait, wait. Do we have a reformation center? Converted to whose side by nearby center of reformation. Oh my god, I completely forgot. I played Bohemia before in Antibellum. Yeah, this crap sometimes is not gonna benefit us. It does benefit Bohemia, but not us. This is a stupid religious center, bro. Oh, that's, that's just disgusting. Hey, we're doing good. We just need one more development and we're done with this. That's it. One more and we are done. Clear the forested area, so we are unlocking deforestation estate privilege. Seat of the Valdovas. This is so weird. It actually means like seat of the ruler. Oh, this interesting reward. Clove will now be produced in Vilnius and it gets local production efficiency plus 25% prosperity growth. And we would also get the secondary reward. We just need 40 dev in the capital. So, of course, I'm not going to develop it. What we just need to do is... Fight a lot of wars and just concentrate development. A plus one stab, always welcome in our nation, always. Wait, 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 we can actually request someone to share knowledge with us. I certainly need this. Yeah, Lubeck, Holland. Let's go with Holland because I might, you know, get into some troublesome relations with Lubeck soon. Yo, that's big. Novgorod is going after a huge war. Belozero, Volok, the Galicia, Volhynia and Podolia. Are they that strong? They have 17,000 units. That is not a lot. 7,000 here, 8 here. But I guess they're doing this because, yeah, they're disloyal. Yeah, so Novgorod is gonna expand quite a lot here. Can we now attack Danzig? Yes, we actually could. But the problem is that they're in the collision, so we need to attack Riga and yes, the same situation. That is great. Okay, 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 boys. That is gonna be absolutely huge for us. What's the force limit? It's 34, so we could get another group. Kinda wanna go to go. I kinda wanna get like the grand company, but that's a bit too much. Mm, for now, let's just go with the 7,000. Yeah, that's decent enough. F it, bro. Let's demolish everyone. What I will do is take out Danzig and Riga. About the other guys, I don't really care. Norway, Bohemia, Rush, Sparta. I wonder if we can actually like win any of these naval battles because our major part of the ships is light ships. I'm kind of hesitant to even try. Like this is quite a lot. Maybe let's first remove like Danzig, then we can do something. Just not dying, bro. You gotta die. Sometimes all you can do is die, my man. Really crap timing for the rebels. I don't want you guys here. Oh no, Bohemia. Oh no. That's a lot of units. I probably should have helped him. They only need 9,000 here. Well, 
I like to leave 10,000 in case of attrition. Oh, they're gonna get the belt now. Now that we're done with this fort, you don't know what you sign up for. By the way, I think this might be a good choice. Officer Corpse. Let's not forget to get the deforestation. Almost forgot it. It's gonna be great for us. 15% local development cost. Oh yeah, you boys stepped into the wrong province, my dude. That's right. Can we delete this 16,000 from Hansa? Free shock leader, but we have our boy Bohemia joining us. I'm gonna select this leader for the fight. No, wait, this one has, has discipline trait. Yeah, so we can go with this one. Yeah, all right, we're just wrecking him. It was actually... Oh, I cannot believe... It was actually a stack wipe. 15,000. Oh, yeah, let's go. Danzig is ours. I don't care about this aggressive expansion. That's right. This allows us to complete the mission Seize Danskas. Domestic trade power. Prestige decay minus one until the end of the game. And it increases center of trade level in Danskas by two. So it's gonna be maximum level. We're getting perma claims. And instantly we have unlocked this next mission. Which unifies Poland, Lendian, Vistulan and Mazovian cultures into the Polish culture group. Or I should say it's just Polish culture. And we gain Polish culture as accepted one we have slots for yeah we have plenty of slots i haven't accepted any of those so awesome 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 all of these cultures will be accepted which is just great of course we still need access to these uh, missions down below here now when once we get to riga we get a lot more stuff done as well oh here we go we have our new ruler this giga chad look at that bro look at that this is insane and construction cost trade like really good timing for this trade so for the deity, what do we go for now? I think I'm just gonna stick with Milda. So 5% core creation cost. I don't even care about the stab cost modifier. This is just fine for me. This province is super, super expensive to core. But it's really worth it. Oh yeah, by the way, civil disaster. We just need to get rid of the overextension. Oh yeah, this is because the legitimacy. That kind of sucks, bro. If we want to increase our legitimacy, we basically would need to spend tons of mill points. I don't know if we will be able to do this by simply finishing the wars. Um, maybe, maybe. Since we won't take many cores, it probably we can. Just need to finish the war quick. I still hate this crap, man. We need like a, our own center of conversion. Can this fort fall for once? It's been like 600 days or something like that. Unbelievable. Oh my god. Just do it, dude. 400 days, but okay. 600 days in total for the two forts. I was right. Let's say I was right. You boys can just annual your treaties. Move the hell out. And these were 50 ducat loans. Um, Yes, let's repay all of those. Like, our loans have quadrupled in size by this point. We are rich very temporarily because we have like a lot of loans so i'm gonna repay all of those hey that looks much better give me this 80 tradition general too wanna check out what we got here hey it's it's not that good to be honest it's not that good all right we can take level 5 admin technology and we can un finally unlock our first idea group no question about it we're going with diplomatic i will be expanding a lot i need this 20 percent worker cost reduction next idea group i'm definitely gonna go for admin ideas we're just gonna go for everything that this expansion is based basically from all of these guys i'm just taking war reps i'm just taking cash don't really care about any other stuff hey that's it we are done with this war finally it's been a pain in the ass but here we go riga is finally ours yeah so now we can conquer riga this creates or upgrades trade building in riga for free and this gives perma claims what did we get? Oh, that's a lot of permit claims on Novgorod. There is no trade building here right now, so I'm gonna core this and I will build a marketplace here so it can be upgraded to a level 17 building basically instantly. And so after we complete this mission, we just need to stab up two times or wait for lucky events and we can reveal the branching missions. But this will be in the second part of this run if you guys like this video enough. So if you want to see this second part, let's get 555 likes. Can we do this, boys? Anyways, yeah, it's 1466. We went from 39 development to 389. I think that's the perfect number, actually. I'm going to go ahead and sell titles and seize lands. So we have 20% and I'm going to repay the loans. Yeah, that's right. That looks good. We are finishing the run with five loans, 1% each. This is not going to fire. 
23% we just need to finish quartering this and it's gonna reset from there we will need to work on legitimacy might need to actually invest mill points which is a bit annoying but I mean it's kind of worth it when you have a ruler like this we're still rocking this realm of our religion and I think I will stick with it because of the branching missions which will basically allow us to choose which religion we want to go with I think we did quite a good portion of these missions to be honest it's like 40% or something like that, maybe 30%. Yeah, I myself did really enjoy Lithuania in Antibellum. I think it's a totally different experience from the base game. So I would de definitely recommend you guys to try it yourself. I will leave the link, of course, to the mod in the description. I always do. And yeah, once again, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. I will see you next time. Peace. A big thank you to the channel members and patrons, Vovino and Lazar.